Okay, as soon as I can get this slide up, I want to show you. So, are you going to walk me through them? Mm -hmm. okay. But then I want to hear your take on it. So, I really don't know much as much about Superman. Dude, okay, so here here's kind of my <laughs> superhero history. Um, in terms of my favorite superhero, obviously, just like just like anybody, Batman, Superman, Spider Man, like those are the main because they've had the most adaptations, and so they have the best writers, the best stories, the best the best villains, and so it's hard not to have those those three or like the X Men. It's hard to have those four categories not be your favorite, especially when you're a kid. See, the kids today have such different, like most kids today, their favorite superhero is Iron Man. Yeah, that's true. When I was a kid, no one gave a <laughs> crap about Iron Man. I didn't even know who Iron Man was. Dude, I, so yeah, growing up for me, it was always just. It was, it was like a rotating door, but my number one was, was, was Batman. But then when I got to be like 10 years old is when I started watching Smallville. Do you know what that is? Yeah, well, I know it's Smallville. I love Small. I'm actually rewatching it right now. I'm on season 10. So I started rewatching Smallville and the reason why, and then Superman became my favorite hero. Like I would literally dress like him, like the farmer. <laughs> like I would try to even, we did have a ranch, but I, like I tried to get the exact same outfit. I'm, Do I, your hair I like think, him? Yeah, I think a lot of people <laughs> did that actually. Dude, I would, my mom would convince me to go to church by saying that I was either Spider-Man or Batman incognito so what? i would wear my spider-man pajamas or my batman pajamas underneath underneath my church clothes oh that is funny and that's I act, how i got to go to church <laughs> i actually my mom told me, i don't remember this but my mom told me this one time when i was a kid that i wore batman underwear and i pulled down my pants and showed my whole class in church i was like dun, 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 you know, the classic adam west song dude dun, 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 batman. dude i remember wearing okay don't look at this list okay, until well, i have it in present mode i remember wearing my underwear over the outside of my pajamas because i thought that that's what superheroes did yeah okay so <laughs> all right let's get into it so i'm talking about my top five live action and so that when i'm talking about live action i'm talking about tv shows anything that's not animated um and so there's not i mean what is there a total of eight live action so there's Something just like there's just three that are in here so number five is the superman returns suit as you can see right here and the reason why it's where it is is first of all i'm not a huge fan of the superman logo on the belt like it's kind of strange having two superman logos on top of each other you know what <laughs> I, I mean know, i never noticed that actually. well and isn't that weird they did <laughs> update the logo and this actually is the suit that they use in small though which i wasn't happy about they i mean i'm sure that they're on a budget and trying to save some money Dude, it's actually the exact same suit. i did not know any of that anyways but i i don't like the logo in terms of like how it's like it looks like plastic and it's yeah you know what i mean and they actually changed the dynamic of the way the s is shaped which it's not the end of the world, but I like the S with the little circular thing on the bottom. And I'll show you that in, in the clip. So for me, this is number five because I hate, it's like purple and blue. Look at it. It's like purple and blue. <laughs> it's not red and blue. And I, plus this movie was just trash. Dude, let me tell you, I remember <laughs> this scene when he's getting shot by bullets in slow motion. In his, in his eye. And his, <laughs> it hits his eye. And then there's the part where. Because it shows up him getting his suit getting shot too, yeah. and I, I'm like, I know he's the Man of Steel, but I just remember being like, that suit looks like it would not survive. Well, and and that's <laughs> another thing is like, it it makes no logical sense when his suit is like human made for him to get hit by bullets and his suit's fine when it looks like it was. So that's why in Man of Steel, that the fact that it was Kryptonian just like him made yeah. sense because like when he got shot. When he got shot, it like it didn't hurt his. I don't know. Yeah, like, this one looks like it was bought at Party Center. Or I know it's so Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. And the, the problem is, is like they're like, here. Let me look up the budget for Superman Returns. Um, and it's such a forgettable movie. They had Kevin Spacey, so it couldn't have been that cheap. Well, dude, it it isn't this movie so forgettable though. Like people just forget that oh, this yeah. movie exists. I just remember the scene where he's saving the kid on the boat that's sinking. You yeah, ever seen like that? Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> and then somehow, but like somehow, the kid is his son. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, you he know can the see kid. The door. Well, yeah, no, and then the kid <laughs> pushes the piano to hit the to hit that bad guy Dude, in I that boat. Watch this movie, actually. And Lex Luthor's <laughs> whole plan is just to like sink, or was it to sink California so he can get more real estate? Yeah, that, for, that was his plan for getting Kevin Spacey just to get money to do Lex Luthor. They really did not utilize anything. I know it was so <laughs> boring and. 
And the, the biggest action was him. Like, I remember when I was a kid and they, my mom asked me what my favorite part was. And it was him jump or flying through a window through the daily planet. That was my favorite part because that's all that happened. There was a scene where he was getting beat up by these other dudes because he got stabbed with kryptonite. But that was just, yeah, lame. this movie definitely ruined Superman's perception for pretty much everybody. That well, and up like, with us. <laughs> and we'll get into it later about Man of Steel, but Man of Steel is like the exact opposite of this movie. Oh yeah, for sure. And, the problem is, is like Superman in live action can only do so many. You can only have so many villains because he's so powerful. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like no one's going to buy Lex Luthor in a battle armor suit without a helmet on getting punched <laughs> by freaking Superman right in the face. When he's bald. I never. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no padding. Well, I never understood that because like he like Lex Luthor has like, obviously they, they don't want him to be mistaken for Iron Man. Because with a with a helmet on, but why doesn't he have a helmet on? Like every suit that he's ever had, he his head is just just free Roman. And if Superman punches him, he's done for. <laughs> like he's done. Anyways, it, I'm getting off topic. But this budget for this movie was 270 million U.S. dollars. How much is that? Is that compared to Man of Steel? Um, let's see, Man of Steel. Well, like this is back in 2006. Let's see, Man of Steel budget was lower. Man of Steel was twenty or two two hundred and twenty five million, and that was oh. that was that was like what five or six years later, seven years later. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, dude, I don't know. That's anyways. There was <laughs> supposed to be a so there was supposed to be a second or sequel I movie do remember to this, that. and it was supposed to. I think the main villain was supposed to be Mongol. Do you know who that is? Dude, I don't know. He, who he's the is. he's the ruler of War World, and he gets all these um, super powered people together from the whole universe to have them battle each other, and that's how he gets in conflict with oh, Superman. Oh wait, I remember because he Mongols. kidnaps him and he makes him fight and blah blah blah. Anyways, he's got Mongols got a super. Anyways, power. that movie sounds legit, <laughs> but this movie did so bad. Um, this movie did so bad that they just canceled it. That it made you hate the suit even more. Uh, yeah, I hate the suit. <laughs> Let's see. Their profit was only eighty-two million off of oh, two hundred. So they crazy. tanked. They tanked this movie. Anyways, that's crazy. Anyway, so that that's so the purple looks terrible. It he's not buff, which is not a a huge like because Christopher Reeves wasn't buff, but back then it wasn't like a thing to be buff. Yeah, he was so masculine. Though. Yeah, he didn't but even this need next suit, you. this next <laughs> suit I'm gonna see you um, comes from Superman and Lois. Oh wait, let's see. Oh, yeah. So now this suit is it this is like back to like the OG the comic. OG yeah, yeah. Superman suit. No, I like this one. And, actually. and the thing is, is like this the the only thing that's like in conflict with this is the S is different. So if this is Kryptonian, I mean you gotta pick your poison. Like it's either he made this suit or or it came from his origins. Like, for example, it's always like, oh, the S in Kryptonian means hope. Yeah, yeah. Which which is fine with me. I, I could care less. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like in Japanese or in Chinese, like a symbol is a freaking word. Yeah, just yeah. like just like on Krypton, which makes sense. But look at him. Like he's like he's buff. What's cool is this guy's actually Native American. You can't even tell. <laughs> Jalen, my my buddy Jalen's gonna love that. I did not know that actually. So yeah, this and and dude, and I think this is one of the best adaptations of Superman. Um, I haven't watched all of it, but he is like the embodiment of like are those his real abs. Probably, <laughs> but look at like he's got like he's not skinny like even even he probably is skinny in real life but he's like look he's buff he's got the, the cape chin. looks great the it, it's a little light blue but but I will take this all day over this is actually what I was hoping for for David Corn Sweat Superman coming in twenty twenty five oh really like a classic mm -hmm. well because that's what I heard that they were gonna do I would have preferred that but um anyways. But no, this is one of the best adaptations for Superman is because he's he, in this show. He has two sons and one of them has like power. I think both of them have powers, actually. Anyways, getting off topic, but um, <laughs> he, he just does really good. And you can kind of see with the car that they're trying to. Oh, crap. You're trying to see with the car that they're trying to. My iPad just died. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but I can show you right here um, that they're trying to recreate the the old the old Superman, but this third one is the David Corn Sweat Superman. That's the one that dropped right today. There. That it dropped today. Yes. And I actually I just reposted that. No, something about that one looks like he's about to take on the whole Well, galaxy. I don't know what's going on in the background. It's like <laughs> there's like this 
eyeball eyeball like <laughs> shooting lasers and he's just like calmly putting on his boots like you would think he would do this in super speed yeah what maybe he is you maybe, that's why it's, maybe it's that's a video actually so <laughs> here 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 you take a look at that so the reason why because when i i actually have been following this pretty heavily and because i freaking love superman what's the name of this movie going to be superman just the Brave? Super, no just superman oh, okay. they, it was going to be named superman legacy but now it's just superman now the reason why this suit's not higher is because obviously i haven't seen it in live action and i haven't seen everything but this picture alone gives me hope for that this movie's going to be good because at first they they told us that he was going to be using the kingdom come logo oh you know yeah, what i'm talking yeah, about yeah. And I was pissed. I was ap- I was actually really pissed that they were going to do that because I'm like, dude, why are we using the Kingdom Come logo when he's supposed to be an older hero teaching younger heroes that they're that they're just the worst? Almost said that word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, like, why are we using a logo that should be used in a alternate or a in the more future. seasoned Superman yeah, in the future? But with them changing it from black to yellow, it does. And I think they added it so it looks somewhat like an S. You see that? Yeah. So, like, it does look somewhat like an S. Like, it looks like the shield is the S and it just, like, overlaps, which is great. I mean, I think it looks good. And, again, the reason why this isn't higher because it's not as bright colors. And that's what you need to separate Superman and Batman is, like, Superman is this hope, bright, like, friendly like everyone wants to be friends with Superman, right? Yeah, man. But yeah. everyone's like, dude, what is wrong with <laughs> Batman? Because he is like intimidating. He's all about the mission. Like he is not there to make friends. I mean, and you've seen that time and time again with his adaptations. Like he kind of treats the Bat family like garbage sometimes, <laughs> which makes me sad because he shouldn't. Yeah, dude. Look at look at Red Hood. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look at Red. I mean, yeah, that, yeah, that was bad. Um. One thing I noticed about this picture is that it is ambiguous as to where his underwear lies. I know. Yeah, I, I, that's another thing. Is it I over actually, or is it under? yeah. <laughs> you know, I, can't tell I am not a fan of them taking away the underwear. What do you think of that? It's just strange no, to me when they take it away. I think it looks a little goofy when they, when they have I think it. It looks a little goofy when they have it. But maybe maybe there's like a happy medium. Yeah. You well, it just okay to me. It just looks strange, and I'll show you a, a picture without without it. And to me, it just looks strange because it just like I don't know. Like the, so, the reason why they actually used why they have the underwear on the outside is because that's what strongman used to wear for competitions. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. So exactly and so, what, what they want they wanted to associate these heroes with strongman because I mean these guys. And they wanted to associate them, so that's why they did it. And it's just been a tradition. And honestly, dude, like superheroes are all pretend. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. why is it such a big deal? Like, what would you? Uh, I like, I like the. I mean, I will say the the Man of Steel one looks good. Yeah, but except for, I, and I'll get into we'll that get, in a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah. But how yeah. wait? How would you feel if they had like the invincible Viltrumite skirt? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I would hate that. Like this. Yeah, I would hate that. Isn't that what the Kryptonians that come have? Mm, they like, have like robes. They almost look like popes, like yeah. like the like Jarrell and his mom. Like what's funny in the original Superman trilogy, you actually see a lot of his mom in the Fortress of Solitude. You're talking mom. the Christopher Reeves one. Yeah, the Christopher Reeves movies. Like yeah, which I mean, obviously they're silly to watch now because the editing is just like no, funny. dude. I love the Christopher, but it's Reeves. still an entertaining. Like that's Superman. Like he Reeves. is, he was, that was like, that's Superman. The Christopher Reeves General Zod. You will kneel before me. <laughs> they had him but, dressed dude, like they were about I to think, go do jujitsu. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. General, dude, General Zod in every adaptation needs to be like kneel before Zod. He needs to say yeah, that. Yeah. And that's what they didn't do in Man of Steel. But <laughs> anyways, all right, getting into number Don't. two. What are you laughing at? I just remembered something about Man of Steel that we got to talk about. Okay. Later. <laughs> All right. Getting into number two is the classic Christopher Reeves, Reeves, Reeve, Christopher Reeve Superman There's suit. There's just no complaints. Well, and the, here's the thing. The only, the only reason this isn't number one is, again, because, like, the underwear does look a little too much. Like, I would prefer, yeah. like, it looks like he's wearing a diaper. But is that the scene when he spins the earth back in time. I think it is. <laughs> so again, like I love how big the shield is. I love the color. Everything's about it is fantastic. The only thing that hurts this suit is like the time it was released. I mean, yeah. today this would look silly. 
I think if you add, like for example, if you take concepts of Christopher Reeve and his suit and the Superman and Lois suit, mm-hmm. and um, that would be great because the only reason it just looks funny because he's not as buff as other Superman, 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 yeah, yeah. And like, especially after seeing Henry Cavill, like, dude, you have to be a buff Superman. Yeah, you, yeah. You have to be. You and be, I mean, you don't have to be freaking yoke, but you have to be muscular. You know what I mean? You have to be a British guy. No, no, yeah. no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then um, number one is a very particular suit. So it's not the Man of Steel suit, Ooh. not the Batman versus Superman suit, I, not the Justice League suit, but it's the, actually Superman in Black Adam. I remember that, actually. Because he, he's only in it for like two yeah, seconds, which yeah, really yeah. pissed me off. And you can't see the bottom yeah, I guess you're right. But just that, and I'll show you, but just that one image, like the reason why it's my favorite is because it looks Kryptonian. The symbol looks great. I love it. And it, it, I mean, just like what we were saying before, it goes back to, I like the bright colors. Like it's bright. Like if you go back to the Man of Steel one, it's so dark. And and that's why I don't like the Superman Return suit is because it's so it's so dark and it almost looks purple. And so, like, for example, let me show you this Man of Steel suit. So, when I first saw this, the only thing that made me happy is it was, like, everything I would have imagined. Like, look how dark that is. Yeah. Like, so... Why is they, it already dirty? That's my question. Uh, well, I guess they were just fighting, but, well, like, Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just the look, though. But when I saw this, I was so happy. But when I went and saw Black Adam, first of all... My wife fell asleep and I was just so pissed. I'm like, dude, this movie is so boring. The only thing that's making me stay here is I get to see Dr. Fate and Hawkman, even though Hawkman was like a total bit at the and time. Doc, like, and Hawkman is the coolest character. He is one of the coolest yeah. characters ever and they did him dirty. <laughs> and first of all, like I have no problem with them like race swapping a couple of characters. And I actually have no problem with them race swapping Hawkman. I think he was, the actor actually did good, but the, the, the the dialogue that he was given and the task he was given was terrible. Like he, yeah. he was like some. I wanted to see him and Black Adam go head to head. And th- I mean, I know the movie was all about Black Adam and in the Rock's contract, he can't lose a fight, which is the dumbest which is the thing. dumbest thing ever because it yeah. ruins movies. And the Rock, I'm sorry, I would have I would have rather had Terry Crews in that in Black Adam. He's a better actor. I really think that. Dude, they. I heard. No, this is getting into speculation, but say I've, it. I've they been we have reading some stuff here. about the. Um, about Dwayne the Rock. Yeah, he did and, not want to be associated with Shazam. And, Shaz- yeah, he didn't Shazam. want. To, he wanted to have Superman in so that he which could is be like a big the weird bad. like like Black Adam is not a Superman villain. Like, which I understand yeah. he's more of like a Justice League DC villain, but he is the the copy. He is the mirror villain of Shazam. Of Shazam, Shazam. aka Captain Marvel. Yeah, he should. And <laughs> dude, he should be freaking called Captain Marvel. Like, yeah, he's AKA. been. He had a show called Captain Marvel, and yeah, like he'll always be Captain Marvel. Yeah, eyes. I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously, Shazam is like a copycat of Superman, but he's still bad. That's not like, a big deal. Like, every, like Omni Man, the what's his name, Homelander, all those guys are copycats of Superman. Superman was the first OG superhero. Like, that just could take it. I mean, think about it. If you are inventing a superhero, what are you going to be naming him? Superman. <laughs> Doesn't matter what he does. His name's going to be Superman. Like, yeah, Superman could be the fastest. Uh, Fortnite player, for all I, yeah, I wish he was. He could do you get the, if you get the Zeus, the Zeus token, you can run super fast. Anyways, there you have it. That's my top top five Superman suits okay. um, in live action. We'll do an alternate version and post that later. I have. Um, what like? Give me your thoughts. What do you think? I think there needs to be a balance between goofy, not really goofy, but you know, like classic comic book looking where it, mm-hmm. where it looks like it was taken out of comic a comic book accurate. Yeah. It looks Close like it to was, the source material. Yeah. It, where you, you look like you're looking at a comic book shot. Like if you look at the old, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, the very first <laughs> one, which are, I love great movies, movies dude. Some of the shots in them, they look like they're just straight from the panel. Exactly. Comic book. And, and that's what they should be doing. I think that's what you're looking for, especially with Superman, because mm-hmm. so many people just look at Superman. Like he's like, the Walmart brand yeah. of superheroes. Just because he's just Superman, there's nothing like super unique, which is not true. Which is super not true. <laughs> and here's the problem. Here's the problem with Superman lately is the adaptations of him have been terrible. Yeah. And actually, I think it stems from, have you, did you ever play that game, Injustice? Gods, Gods Among, Among Us? Us? Yeah. Amazing game. But so many people 
thought that it was so unique to have an evil version of Superman. Yeah, and so that's all it's been like, even Zack Snyder in his universe, like it was planning to be a Superman who joined dark side. Like what the Dude, heck? It's not that crazy. Like, Superman <laughs> is supposed to be the, the best, most yeah. powerful superhero in DC. Like he's always holding back. He's always, he's a good person. He was freaking raised in Kansas on a farm Amen, like, brother. as humble as you can get. <laughs> But the, some adaptations of Superman just make him look. You can see that Superman logo on my wall. Dude, right they there. keep they keep they just, if they're gonna do that, just bring Bizarro into it. Yeah, dude, and shout that's another the, thing is they yeah shout out to shout Bizarro. Out, shout out to the they Seinfeld episode. First of all, if you want an Eva Superman, do a movie where he goes and fights Bizarro, and that's like you don't have to make Bizarro some idiot like he is yeah, in the yeah. comics. Like yeah, you he's can like make a him, zombie in the yeah, comic. like in Smallville, he's <laughs> actually like an intimidating, like calculated person, and he like he did they did good in that. Like, I mean. I mean, they did have low budget, but anyways, I would love to see a movie where like Lex Luthor is the strategist and he like cloned, tries to clone Superman and he made Bizarro and, but then Superman's got to deal with Bizarro because Lex Luthor is never going to be that intimidating physical character. He's yeah. always that, like, he's like the Joker. Like he's always got a plan. He's always trying, like, he always has something up his sleeve that you can't just, you can't win with physical strength. That's the conflict. That's why he's Superman's best villain yeah i think it, he superman can't just punch him in the face and solve all yeah, his problems yeah i think that i mean he could but for, he won't <laughs> in, in the upcoming superman movies i think i think brainiac the, is the main villain oh really i think i don't know there's, for sure because okay there's something definitely special about the 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 darkness of dc but that's what makes superman so good is that he's this bright character yeah. in that kind of world exactly. so it makes him stand out so much and i think that i don't know i'm more like Especially with a character like Lex Luthor, you have to make it so he there's high stakes. Dude, the the, the stakes are too high with Superman being the yeah, hero. The Batman, just kill the him. Batman versus Superman <laughs> movie with Lex Luthor was awful. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> heck were they trying the, to do with the, with the piss jar? <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember that part? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot that but that dude, was a okay. movie. You know, have you seen um, Superman and Batman: Public Enemies, the animated movie? I haven't. Let's Dude. watch it. <laughs> Deal. That Lex Luthor is the, and it's the, it's the comic where he is the president. You know, that's like yeah. Oh, I do know what you're talking about. Yeah. Dude, that is classic Lex Luthor. Like that Lex Luthor was shredded. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, like he could like go toe to toe with Batman. Like obviously he's gonna get his butt handed to him, <laughs> but he could handle. He can take it. Like he can. Yeah. Like he's not like Slade Wilson, but he's not like some scrub. Like dude. The Batman vs. Superman looks like there was like a skinny, like Mark, uh, Mark, uh, what's his name? They invented Facebook. Yeah, it was Mark Zuck. Mark Zuckerberg. Like, <laughs> it was Jesse Eisenberg. He actually was, he actually was Mark Zuckerberg in the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Jesse Eisenberg. Funny, but anyways, all right. Well, okay, wait, I have something before we move on from Superman. I have, a clip, say it. I have a clip I want you to watch. I, okay. post, I put it in the drive right there. Awesome.